<sighs> Welcome, Pisces, to Petrella's Intuitive Insight. This is a brief overview of December 1st to the 15th of 2023. Where did the time go? It's just been moving so quickly. Uh, as I was getting into the Piscean energy, um, I really feel that you need to pray uh, to release the procrastination. Many of you are procrastinating. You have these great ideas. Uh, it's just like you're creating, which we're going to get into the creating because I feel that you need to get that feminine creative energy for you guys out there. Same thing, you create. Whether this is in your work, uh, at home, whatever you're doing, you also create. So it's real important uh, to get yourself moving. You're procrastinating. Get it done. Move to the next step, the next level. I feel that there's a lot of feminine energy here. So for the female Pisces that are uh, tuning in here, um, I YouTube uh, and other uh, forms of, it, it, oh, this is, if it's in your community or a family member that you can learn, belly dance, belly dance, belly dance, get your hips moving, your whole body moving. You want to get yourself moving. This will help also with the procrastination because now the energy is moving. You'll be able to, what you think about, you bring about because now your body's moving and you're not procrastinating. Uh, for the guys, same thing. Look, uh, belly dance, yeah, if that's your, you know, but you need to get yourself physically moving. So for some of you, maybe it's just doing uh, some kind of um, qigong or some kind of body movement. So you get your energy moving. Whew. All right, Pisces, stop with the procrastination. You got too much work to do. It's time to move forward. You remember your mind is the battleground. So when these negative sadness, sorrow, pain thoughts start coming in, do not allow them to take over. They have a, a heavy negative energy that will keep you stagnant and not moving forward. So with that, uh, I think I just told one of my signs and, uh, you know, a young, one of the young girls in the Pittsburgh area was trying to change her life. And we together worked on it. Every time she would go down the dark path of, oh, I'm going to be stuck doing da, da, da. I told her to start laughing. Ha, 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 ha. Even fake laugh. So now it can become for real. You're going to start laughing yourself. So when you see yourself going down that negative path, and it's even better if you have a partner or somebody that can bounce off of you uh, so you can, you know, when you get in those states, it could help change the energy. Absolutely. And it's going to help with that procrastination. And I'll tell you right now, it drains your present day energy. When you think about the past and all of that and put that heavy, heavy emotion into it, it drains your present day energy, not allowing you to really move forward in the presence. So real important there. Okay, Pisces, let's see. What do the Pisceans need to know as they're listening to this video? You're moving on from something. And I feel that this is... Actually, I just see three or four things. Look at this. Success. The conflict. Some of you have conflict with success. What? Are you undeserving? <laughs> no. Of course not. So this conflict with... And it could be even the conflict with moving on because you know you need to move on to experience this success and you're having conflict with the moving forward. This could be the conflict of the moving forward, Pisces, could be uh, a way of life and the way you were living. You're having conflict of moving on from that. Relatives, friends, this could even be adult children and you're just saying, I'm done. I'm done. I need to move on from the conflict into success. This could be best friends for X amount of years. And you're just done, Pisces. You have to be, honestly, two different cards saying the same thing. 
striped down, stricken down. It's just already done. And the moving on, isn't this interesting? Trains, planes, automobiles, ships. Uh, however, one more time, love, romance, relationship for Pisces. Isn't this interesting? Two more cards also fell out. You know, I, I see these cards in two different lights. Here's Cupid with two uh, holes in the heart. So some of you, this has hurt your heart and you're moving on. This right here is, I when I see this card, this is the, uh, the indication of a happy long life. But I also see like this could be like the ending of something to be a happy long life. And for some of you, this is a grabbing on to a love for that happy long life. This could be the second chance that you're giving them. But I, I have to tell you, for most of you Pisces, you're letting go relationships that no longer serve you. You may have been the center of their world at one time, or maybe they were the center of your world at one time. It's not like that anymore. They've told you that. They have shown you that. Move it along. And in fact, you know what? There's some of you that have actual people that are pulling at your apron strings or, you know, at your uh, uh, jacket and saying, hey, hey, I want your attention. I need you. I, I really appreciate you, Pisces. And you are moving forward, onward, upward. Yep. So whether this is your uh, home or this is in work, you could even be leaving uh, not just a position, but a physical location. Oh my God, absolutely a new residence coming forward for the Pisces. Uh, a stork is a, a, a change of residence for the better. So something is going on with your housing, Pisces. So you know what? Keep that in prayer and just see what happens here. Interesting. Okay. You're going to hear some gossip or cackling news. It's going to be negative. And in fact, that might be what pierced the heart the second time. And again, here's the cutting them off. Uh, you know, Pisces, let's just move on from that. Um, oh, look at the bottom of the deck is the happy family life. So it does work out for your best benefit. And here's the bride card. What a way to end that. So for those of you that are already in a connected, uh, soul, uh, connected relationship, um, it's just gonna go a little deeper. Pisces, what do the Pisces need to know? Ooh. Oh, you're gonna be learning and you're opening up to the world. Look, it's the universe and learning, the angel of learning. and angels of the universe. Um, Pisces, I was gifted a, a beautiful deck of cards from a, um, a gentleman in New Zealand. These are really, really cool. For those of you that don't know me uh, and you're new to my channel, I actually got, just got introduced to cards. I've been a, born into a very psychic family. Um, uh, strong intuition, uh, psychic medium. And then somebody showed me cards and I realized, wow, I can look at these pictures. Now with these cards, these are so in depth that I am gonna take a minute and look up the meaning in the little booklet just until I get really used to them. Look, here's that dolphin card again. This just came out. That's like freedom, happiness. You need to have more fun, laugh, remember to laugh. Some of you it's, have been through some really hurtful situations. Some of you Pisces have been uh, put through situations that most do not ever in, encounter in a lifetime. And you may have encountered it twice or three times. Okay, so 
Pisces. What do the Pisces need to know as you're listening to this video for December 1st to the 15th of 2023? What does the divine have in store for thee? I got to tell you, this is amazing because this card flipped out twice. You need to have more fun. Figure it out. Figure it out, Pisces. Um, and this is, you know, I, I want to go back to this. This is uh, the dolphin number 14, Ahi. I think that's pronounced. Some of you are actually from New Zealand. And you, I would love your input in the comments below. But Pisces, you need to have more fun. These two cards fell out together. And I, I'm really going to chop this one up. This is number 32, the Fairy of the Upper Heavens. And it's Patu pa, Pyria. He, I see, I'm going to chop it all up. But this particular card is positivity, readiness, spiritual wisdom, the future, and inheritance. So some of you are actually, this may not be an inheritance per se, but this is absolutely, you're working on a project, you're educating yourself, you're moving forward. What you put into it, you're going to get out of it. And there's your money to move forward. This could be your money to actually move to that new physical residence. Uh, Pisces, if this resonated with you, please click like, share, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Um, for those of you, oh, I want to say that are in a Pittsburgh area near Mar in Mars, PA. I'm hosting a Minds, Body, Spirit event there. And... Um, Private readings, Petrella's Intuitive Insights.com, listed in the link below. Thank you, and God bless you, Pisces.